Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about the new episode synopsis, but also talking about the finale because they just recently wrapped, and we've got some little spoilers for what's going to be going down in that episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be breaking down the episode 20 synopsis. So this episode is titled, Will the Real Miss Testmucker Please Stand Up? So this is obviously in relation to Eminem, Will the Real Slim Shady Please Stand Up? Obviously a reference to that, but also a reference to Superman and some of the old films where, you know, Lex says Miss Testmucker and that was referenced in the show. So this is all supposed to be about Eve. This is another Eve episode, supposedly even more because the synopsis teases that Eve's returning with a vengeance and we're going to be breaking it down. This episode is actually written by a familiar person in our sort of side of the industry. On She was a writer for Entertainment Weekly, so that's exciting to see her actually get a writing credit, so congrats on her. So this episode title, I'm not actually a big fan of it. I think it's way too long. I think, yes, it's quite clever, but... I don't know, I feel like they could have picked a better title. So, that's just my opinion. But anyway, so, obviously it just teases that, yeah, Eve's going to be back in this episode. So, we'll break down the synopsis first, then go over the finale stuff. But just before we actually get into this, I want to say sorry once again for this microphone. If you saw yesterday's video, you would have obviously noticed it because it's much worse quality. And I really apologize for that. But this is the best I can do. It's Easter weekend, I'm currently away. And so I'm recording this video because this synopsis came out. But also, I want to talk about some other stuff. Alright, so this is how the synopsis goes. Miss Tessmucker returns with a vengeance. Kara and Lena head to Kaznia to hunt down Lex. However, Eve Tessmucker sets a trap for the duo that could ultimately reveal that Kara is Supergirl. Meanwhile, Alex gets a long-awaited phone call. James practices using his powers, and Ben Lockwood takes a dangerous stand inside the DEO. Alright, so let's break this down bit by bit. This is actually a really interesting synopsis, so I'm very intrigued about this episode. So, this is episode 20, just to reiterate to you guys. So, Kara and Lena head to Kaznia to hunt down Lex, so they've obviously find out something to do with Lex is definitely in Kaznia, and I think this is how... This episode links into obviously Eve being there. We know she set the trap. We'll talk about that in a second. But I think this is where Supergirl is going to learn a bit more about Red Daughter because that's where Red Daughter is obviously based from. She's actually, you know, she's got the symbol. She's got the Kaznian symbol or, you know, whatever it is, the Soviet symbol. I'm not too sure what they specifically call it. But yeah, I think this is definitely to do with Red Daughter. I think she's definitely going to appear in this episode. And I've got also some promising news to do with Red Daughter that we'll talk about nearer to the end of the video. So they find out either Lex is right there in Kaznia. We're not going to see him till the finale, so that's two episodes after this. So I'm guessing they're getting pretty close. So he might be there or whatever their lead is actually there. Maybe it's Eve. It's in the end going to lead up to Kaznia, therefore Red Daughter. All right, so however, Eve sets a trap for the duo that could ultimately reveal Kara is Supergirl. So I think this is definitely in regards to how Red Daughter and Eva playing into the idea of taking Kara's persona. So by now, I'm kind of guessing that Eve has got the gist that Kara is Supergirl because she's seen what Red Daughter obviously looks like when she was in her normal clothes, exactly like Kara. So there is no way that she doesn't know that She's actually Kara. So I think this is in regards to them exposing Kara as Supergirl to the public. And I think the trap is maybe to trap them. And then you have Red Daughter going back to America. You have her acting as Supergirl again. Have her acting again as Kara though. Because she can do that. We've seen that in her origin episode. She was able to even pretend to Alex that she is in fact Kara Danvers. You know her normal self. So I think it could be something to do with that. But I think what Eve is doing, definitely still playing into Lex's story, but most likely into Red Daughter. And 
their manipulation so a trap would probably be that they're going to you know put them in a prison cell or something like that and use that for a way to actually expose supergirl obviously i could be wrong that's just me theorizing all right so meanwhile alex gets a long awaited phone call so this phone call i have no idea what it means but you know the first gist that i got from actually reading it for the first time was that maybe she has been trying to date some people she's been going out and stuff because that was teased a few episodes back so maybe you know she finally gets the call back or it's something to do with what happens in the finale because if you remember there were some set photos and it seemed like there was some sort of double date obviously i wasn't there so i can't confirm that or anything but it seems like maybe her and kelly are actually going to be going out that's what people have been theorizing about and apparently on the set it looked like they were on a date of sorts so that's interesting maybe it's something to do with that but i think it's probably more to do with like someone else maybe she's been seeing this other person all right so let's move on james practices using his powers so this is the confirmation he's got powers obviously we knew lex has got powers you know since he was using it but it didn't really cross my mind that james might have powers but obviously he does and he's obviously been injected with the horror now so it healed him so he's got super strength and he is essentially a mass human now so i reckon he will just have super strength and can do a few other things so let's go on to the last bit ben lockwood takes a dangerous stand inside the deo i think what ben is doing right now is going to be like his last stand he's definitely gonna die out like surely i don't know it's kind of a bit boring now i can't really be bothered to talk about agent liberty if i'm honest because you know we just want to see red daughter and i think this kasnia stuff with eve is actually going to help us see more red daughter but let's go on and talk about the finale so this is where we've got some exciting red daughter news so as you know recently if you've been watching some of my supergirl videos i've been a bit skeptical because a lot of the promotion hasn't included any sort of spoilers or hints for red daughter so this episode episode 20 the synopsis does hint at red daughter so that's a really good thing and in the finale they actually wrapped the other day and in one of the videos i think it was actually jesse raptic in a video who plays brainiac 5 you see david harewood actually rapping and kara is there but it's not kara melissa is shooting in her red daughter costume so that confirms that we're going to see red daughter in the finale that's a really really good sign that they are going to build it up they are going to do more red daughter as we head towards the finale because like i said the publicity has not even mentioned her at all since you know that last few episodes obviously we're on a big break right now so that's kind of understandable but still the synopsis is sort of dodging it right now so i think they're definitely just keeping her story under wraps but she's only got a few episodes left we were really impressed and i'm talking about like everyone on my channel who watches i'm sure you can all agree that red daughter episode was amazing and it's definitely my favorite episode by far of this season so i'm so excited to see her again and again and again and it's just great to see the confirmation that melissa is still shooting scenes for red daughter but melissa has now officially wrapped and most of the cast has actually wrapped as well because obviously melissa was one of the last ones to wrap because she has the biggest role in the show you know they were posting some funny photos and everything like that and david harewood's wrapped a few days before and jesse raff and everyone all wrapped as well so you know they're officially on hiatus and according to kyla they're actually going to be shooting a bit earlier this year so they're going to probably have a better look in that san diego comic con trailer for season five you know it's kind of crazy that we're already on season five i remember watching supergirl for the first time in season one back in 2015 being like yo everyone you have to watch this show it's really good i really love supergirl and i've always been recommending it to everyone before it was even part of the arrowverse so yeah it's kind of crazy to see it already on season five but it's been a great ride so far and i can't wait to actually see more and do more so yeah it's just really exciting you know going into these last few episodes because now we got the confirmation we're seeing more red daughter seems like the agent liberty stuff is going to be fading out a bit maybe just into the background i don't think it's necessarily going to be totally gone i think it'll still be here 
but just not as prominently. So what do you think of all this? Are you excited for the Eve episode, episode 20? And are you excited to see more Red Daughter like in the season finale? So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.